Hello there, YouTube. Uh, plenty of people think that making your own liquid is difficult and I want to basically make a video and show you that it's quite simple and you don't need much. Uh, I also want to put a, a link into a channel of Igatech who inspired me to actually do the e-liquid in grams. Previously to that I was doing it in milliliters and grams is actually much more um, accurate. So what you're going to need to, to have to in order to make your own e-liquid is your propylene glycol, just there, vegetable glycerin and nicotine in your own preferences. I use it as I usually have about 3 to 6% of strength. You need, you're going to need to have a bottle. I'm going to use this from a premium e-liquid as that's what I have available and it has the dripper on it and I like it as it's more handy than the plastic one. You will need to have a small scale accurate to the hundreds. Uh, you need to have another dripper or you can use a syringe I'm using a dripper as it's more convenient. Uh, obviously you flavorings I'm using capella flavorings as uh, they are pretty decent um, and they taste really, really nice. They have a good flavor to it. Uh, you need to have a bottle. If you don't have one from premium e-juice, uh, you can use a bottle like this. So this is a 100 ml bottle. comes with a cap and with a nozzle, which you can basically uh, squirt your e-juice into your bottle. And you will need a small funnel which you can put into your bottle, obviously, so you can put all of your liquids in. And now I'm going to put links into all of the website where, where I got this stuff from, so you can find it, check, check, check them out and uh, find what you actually need. Now I'm going to show you the website as well, which I will be using. It's called eLiquid Calculator. So the website I will be using is called eLiquid Recipes, and it's quite good as it shows you all of the weights which you need to add in grams and it shows you all of the specific contents of your uh, liquid which you need to add. It's straightforward, you add flavors, you add how much percentage you, you want of it and stuff like that. Uh, my e-liquid gonna be 60 PG, 40 VG. I know some people gonna say, well, yeah, well, you should do VG, so we're gonna get more, uh, more clouds. Well, in all honesty, I could do all VG, but then I will have uh, problems with wicking. It's good if you have a dripper or what's not, uh, which I do have, but I'm doing this for my ordinary tank and this works perfectly fine for me. So if you scroll down through the website, it's going to give you all of your breakdown all of your recipe. So you have all of the relevant color markings and all of the relevant milli milliliters and grams and percentages which correspond to that to make your 30 mils e-juice as that's what I will be making today. So this is all I will be using today uh, to make my take on the New York cheesecake, which I like the flavor of it. Uh, now we need to make sure that you are quite accurate uh, with the, all of the ingredients that you add, especially the nicotine base liquid. So let's get started with it. So you got your little scales which is really nice, it has a nice little scale, you got the tear, the mode, obviously the on off. So put your scales there, turn it on, get your little bottle, set it on it, put your funnel and then press the tear option which is gonna zero it out so you know exactly what to add. Now. It's also quite handy to have your uh, paper towels. So in case you're gonna make a mess, you can quite easily clean it all out. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And now firstly, I'm gonna add nicotine. Uh, the reason for that is that then I can wash it out with uh, all of the e-liquids and base liquids. So we're gonna take my dripper and I'm going to add 1.3 grams of nicotine. So we just squirt it down like so. And 1.3, I got 1.24. And 1.3, there we go. So that's your nicotine done. Now I'm going to put VG, this is the ticker of the two. 
and I need to add 15.14 I'm just gonna basically pull it down oh yeah press the tear option and then 15.14 grams of this so let's do and we got 11 we got 15.3 I don't gonna cry about that so that's fine we'll do for what I need and PG we need to add 10.83 grams so that's exactly what we're gonna do press the tear button so oh, 10.83 and that's 8 10 3 8 just a little dab well 1207 it's not too bad it's gonna work for me obviously if you're making it you might be different or very accurate maybe anal about it i'm not so that works and then we need to add my new york cheesecake we need to add 3.3 grams now obviously with the all of the base liquids nicotine and your uh, flavorings make sure that it is in date so there you go that's the date before best uh, so make sure they are all in date try not to use the out of date liquids if you can help it now it doesn't want to focus anymore for us okay there we go focused so 3.3 grams of new york cheesecake oh yeah tear always forget about that so 3.3 Go to eight, three, three point one eight, three two, and three three. So that's your new cheesecake done. Now we're gonna add my vanilla custard V two, and we're gonna add one point eight grams. So press the tear button, and we're gonna do one. 1.2 and 1.8 there we go and now me to add my butter cake or my cake butter and we need to add 1.2 grams of this so 0.4 0.5 hate hey, them small bottles difficult to square it <laughs> yeah, funny, <laughs> squirt from it. Right, um, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1, 0 0.2. There we go. And that's basically your e liquid on. What you need to do now is take out your funnel, put it aside on the paper towel so it's not going to make a mess. Uh, now with a plastic bottle basically you would put your nozzle on and your cap with this I basically will put my dripper in and what you need to do is give it a one goddamn good shake so you're gonna mix everything properly now after you don't mix sink uh, some people say that the liquid needs to sit for a week or two or three or longer or shorter or you can put it in dark and leave it there or you can unscrew it and leave it like that or you can put it in like warm or cold water and stuff like that that, that there is plenty and plenty of different informations how people do their e-liquids and what technique or tactic you should actually imply to it now i stick with it you know i mix it and basically i use it straight away now in some 
liquids like the New York cheesecake, yeah, sure, you know, you're gonna leave it for a while. And it is actually gonna, you know, taste a bit better than you did. It's gonna be more flavorish, it's gonna be a bit stronger, more intense. Now, if you use the Irish cream, for example, and you're gonna let it sit for like two, three weeks, it's gonna lose flavor. It's gonna taste less. You don't gonna taste as much of that Irish cream as obviously it's alcohol and alcohol evaporates. So it's, it's actually reduces the flavor. And then another liquid is gonna change color slightly and stuff like that. Uh, but I like to vape them straight away after I mixing, uh, mix them. I know some people will disagree and uh, will be like, yeah, well, you should mix it and you should leave it and stuff like that. So uh, I'm not really worried about it too much. Uh, but yeah, on the, on the end, you see, that's how you make your own e-juice. And it's not complicated at all. It's very simple. Uh, that's basically ingredients you need. And how I mentioned before, I'm going to put links into all of the websites uh, where I got all of this stuff from, including the little scales, which you can buy on Amazon for like 11 or 10 quid or something like that. Very nice little portable scale. Uh, works very, very well. Um, obviously, in regards to nicotine, that's uh, your own preference if you're going to be using nicotine or not. Uh, now, I'm for a fact, I'm using nicotine, so for me, it's fine. Anyway, uh, on that... Thank you very much for watching guys, stay safe and keep on vaping.